the story of Ducasne, the biggest takeover in football history. From Steve Bruce being sacked, Mike Ashley being out of the football club, to Eddie Howe's appointment, all of it here on one video. I hope you guys enjoy. What do you think, Happy Boy? I love Happy Boy. Mike Ashley loves Happy Boy. Mike Ashley? You have ruined my club, you know? You have ruined my club. Yeah, uh, I don't like making these videos to take away. I'm just. What's the word for it? Um, I'm guessing I'm just soaked up, you could say, about the takeover. Like, I've just lost all interest. In it. Mike Ashley, for me, uh, I just want him out. I couldn't give a shit who takes over at this point. I really couldn't. Quick history lesson, right? Down there, we have the Gates of Millennium Bridge, of course, built in 2000. Down there, it's the most iconic bridge in this country. Of course, it is the, uh, the Tyne Bridge. Over there, St. James Pot. And that's where we're going to smash West Ham today. <laughs> It's good to be back, lads. Even though we lost 4 2, I actually didn't think we were awful. The first 50, 60 minutes, I actually thought we could have won the game, but defensively, that is the worst defensive performance I've ever seen in my entire life. It was absolutely shocking. Oh, fucking come on! Easy win, easy win, already got him. There we are, guys, outside of Villa Park now. Compton, like I said earlier, I'm looking forward to this match and I'm hoping today. On the West Ham game last Sunday, I'm, I'm expecting us to try and pull it back because, man, that was a bad game. Yeah, uh, no, I can't really see you out. Two years ago, Cammy wins tonight. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck's sake. Troy's going to send Bernie through. Yeah, fucking hating so much, honestly. Horrible, horrible club. Jeff Hendrick is probably the best player on that pitch. Um, <laughs> oh, by a long it. shot, he's an Irish legend. <laughs> But he needs spark clean out by Conor McGregor. A little tramp! <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much when Barbie's going to the Southampton game today. She doesn't even watch football, right? And she's in the box, and I'm not. That that really pisses me off. What team are we playing today? What team are we playing? Oh, she got, got a vice for us. Could have just blame it on Vaughan in general because we didn't play well today. Southampton did play well, they deserved to get something in the game. And I think a draw in the end was probably the fair result. Ready for Ronaldo? Ready for Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> This is what four or five games I'll have and think it was all right. Yeah, I'll be not as good stuff as the back end one. Robin's lying back now, I've been doing all the drinking. Oh, the cross. The cross is going to look on the way. Yeah, it was anyone's game today, and neither team took it. Leeds, I felt, were the better team in the game, so listen, it's more of a two point for loss to them still. If we played like that week in, week out, I wouldn't mind so much, but we don't do that. So when we do play well, we've got to get results and we don't get the results. If we play like that week in, week out again, we'll be fine, but we don't do that because the team's not good and the manager's not good and the owner's not good. Enough. Listen, I could have went out with my mates to a bar today. I could have went out to try and get some girls at a nightclub and I, but instead I'm watching the under 23s on a Friday night. This is what my life is now, just watching shit week in, week out. 
I go to university throughout the week and uh, I go to Castle Games the weekend and that's it, that's all I do. And uh, I'm going to be honest, I put Newcastle there above my sex life and um, uh, I'm, I'm going to be real, I'm kind of struggling at the minute. So. Right, they've moved on. The trial is gone. <laughs> yeah, 4 1, not too bad, was it? But thank you guys for watching, I'll see you all tomorrow. Well, we've got a decent side. I've struggled to get points this season. I'm just hoping that they can't even get them today. I think it will be quite an evenly matched game. Yeah, just for, you for the toilet, how much does it get for him? Six pun fucking ten! <laughs> you drive them on the road, man! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Absolutely shocking. The fact that we lost two ones a miracle. We should have lost that three or four nil. It was, it's easy the worst performance this season by the cast. Spruce needs to go. Is he gonna go? Hell no, he would not get sacked. Like, not in a million years. Unfortunately, that's what we are as a club at the minute. I think opposition fans can't understand how shit we really are until you watch us on a weekly basis. So guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. He castinated take over complete vlog at St James's Park. It's done after 14 years of Mike Ashton, you cast there, and now the richest club to ever exist in world football. Adam P, one calling, two calling, three calling, four. Crack it open for the tune. Hey, come on. Hey. It's just been announced that it's taken over. Looking at you now. Get in there. That's the moment there. It's all kicking off now. Oh, we are meant to. Oh, we are meant to smoke from the Holy Steve, just get the fuck off! Exactly, that's, that's my taking, I agree with that, yeah. That must have been the club statement there. That looks like a club statement there, I mean. The club is back to where it belongs. Incredible. I mean, having saw you since Thursday, take over complete. Hashtag cans, I've got yeah. plenty of cans in the stands, but. Oh, I mean. We certainly needed this. And just some new fresh ideas, some new investment in the club. And all the clouds are all going to be on the way out. We've got one. Hopefully, it's going to be more to follow very soon. The six years of doing YouTube started off with a £50 phone from Tesco, a 144p picture quality. I'm doing YouTube full time. Um, no BS, no joking around Yeah, I have really left university and I have really put everything into this YouTube channel and I will be doing it full time from now on. I can't put in the words what this means to me. Like this is honestly a dream job. Uh I mean, um, I'm just I, I don't even know what to say anymore, guys. I, I'm lost for words. Newcastle United. This is what I've always dreamed of doing. All I can say is, all I can say is, big up to yourself. All power to you, and and good luck, man. If there's any, if there's ever a, a chance and a period where where content creating is king, it's it's now. So seize the opportunity and 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 smash it, man. You cast an on the new take, oh, I mean, honestly, best thing in the world, mate. And it's the start of a brand new dawn for the cast As you can see, dressed up for the occasion. And because we reached 1,000 likes on Twitter, I'll be wearing this to the game today. I'm kind of glad that you want us to get to see that because it means that they know what crap they've got to do with how to get rid of Steve Bruce because my god that was awful, that was really really bad. Castle captain Jamal Lissell's and teammate Isaac Hayne had to be pulled apart by stuff as Anarchy descended following the defeat at Spurs. I'll make this simple, sack Steve Bruce before the Palace game. Stop. Oh he's not, oh look at, look at his face, it's time to go Bruce. Finally, the Bruce is gone. Get out of the club. See you later. My God, he was useless. I would fail and that I was a useless, fat waste of space. 
a stupid, tactically inept cabbage head or whatever. Yes, we need the three points today, but really not. The fight on the board. It's not too bad against Paris. It's still a beat at home, so we've got to be realistic. I mean, I've never seen a team capitulate more in my entire life. We honestly, for 60 minutes in that game, had a chance of winning. We didn't play well, but we had a chance of winning that game. Yeah, Chelsea does it win, but for you know, I mean, that's just a joke. Find <laughs> <laughs> it. Yes. Gonna win. Great right, lads, we'll see you soon. Oh, yeah. 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 On the back stick. Oh, he's headed down. Yeah. One, one, full time. Yeah, when I took a point, I think I have a point, it's good at Yamex. You are about to witness one of the craziest videos I've ever made. 11 hours at the training ground today. What happened? Eddie Howe's first time there. Oh, you're going to be winding me up. Oh, oh, oh. oh God. He actually drove past. Oh, my God. He's just done it. He's, he's actually come back down. I can't believe it. <laughs> he's went to the top and then he's just changed his mind. He's come back down. Oh, my God. It's actually, it's actually happening. Eddie Howe is stopping for the fans. Oh my god, this has got to be the greatest thing ever. <coughs> Hello. Hey, right, welcome in the cast tonight. Yeah. You wait 12 hours at the training ground to meet your new manager. At first, it'd be all in vain, but ask and you shall receive. Take a look at this. I had my alarm clock on for seven in the morning. I thought I'd come up and see him early, but when my alarm clock went off, he was already in the training ground. He turned up, I think, just before seven. So I missed him there. So I had there for about quarter eight, and I stayed there for the next 11 hours until he eventually came up. Seeing the level of fanaticism from the fans, I think there was one who waited 12 or so hours yesterday outside the training ground. Uh, how do you react to the welcome that? They've already given you a long time, sir. Yeah, it's been absolutely incredible. 11 hours and Eddie Howe nearly drove past the window. Commitment to see the guy who once sacked at Burnley. There we are, guys, back at St. James's Park. The last time I've been here, but it wasn't a match show, it was when the takeover happened just down there about four weeks ago. Today, we witnessed another moment in the history. <laughs> yeah, that's two days in the room. Do you like a fist bump there? Yeah, of course. Good to see you again. Man, this team is getting escorted out for security reasons. I mean, I imagine you should kind of wish off. But uh, again, no, I appreciate so much for coming to this football club. There's a husband up there, so I'm I don't know what he's chanting, but uh, I mean, he's had a bit of a drink. But I mean, again, no, if it wasn't for him, wouldn't be doing this full time so all in my life. What a hero, I mean, everyone's very happy with him. Oh, I caught a few of them pictures. <laughs> walked in a man, walked out a legend. Oh. We're inside St James Park. Match day against Brentford. Yes, Eddie Howe is out with COVID. Get well soon. I know before you ask, I did not give him COVID. Let's move up, uh, there's Graham Jones there. You ready for the match tomorrow? All I want is everybody get behind this man. Oh, of course we will. Of course we will. Three Sunday joints tomorrow. Oh, yeah. See you, Robin. Take care. Come on, son. <laughs> Finish. Yeah. Norwich win, which means Newcastle is now bottom. Watford beat Manu 4-1. We are trying to give in the league. Still haven't won a game this season. Seriously concerning now. We've got to get a grip. Watch some of the player drills here. I've got some snow in my mouth before I me. Mean, look how much snow is coming down. This is I've never ever seen this much snow before again. Hey guys, got back in the house there. I was in the RVI for just over two hours off by just my vision I couldn't see straight, it just started going really blurry and I felt like I needed to sit down, so I did. I sat down 
and uh, just whenever I got back up, I don't know, I just collapsed, I guess. That's probably the best way of putting it. The next thing I knew was on my back and it was just loads of people around us. I will be at the Arsenal game tomorrow. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for all the kind messages. There we are outside the Emirates. Third time I've been here. Castle lost 1-0 and 4-0 the last two times I've been here. So, fingers crossed today as a day. <laughs> The Castle versus Norwich, 20th against 19, the biggest match of the season by a mile for Newcastle. If we don't win tonight, I will be seriously worried for the future of this football club. <laughs> What is stupid mistake from an experienced player 10 minutes into a game? It's just absolutely shocking. 100 percent yeah. In terms of me as a football fan, that's one of the worst pitch of the fan I've ever seen from any defender. He steps up. Clark has cost in this game, everyone knows the game of Clark is singing on top of the match. Shocking defend, I want to see him play again. We don't beat Burnley today, I think we are screwed. Uh, <laughs> It's a stadium tour. What? Oh, what's this in there? Is this Sports Direct signs? Yes. They are all finally coming down. Early birthday present this. Oh, this in the skip where it belongs. Oh, horrible. I'm glad it's in there. That's where it belongs. That sums up our football club and they make Ashley rubbish. There's Joe Linton down there. Hi, Joe. That's all that's left. Yeah, yeah. Sure to clean out line over the next couple of days, but there uh, is we cast out about sports direct. Beautiful. I feel like in this game we've got to be trying to win. Despite the fact that Leicester are a good side. This season though, I just feel like I've been off at time. The fact that they just played against Napoli two years ago, the players are ill, got COVID, etc. They're going to be exhausted. It's a good time to play them, I feel like. time I've been here, last time I was here we lost 4 0, so can we please not get embarrassed like that this time? That would be great. Probably a goal in the ball, and again, that's not a 
that bad, to be honest. I don't mind that defeat. At the end of the day, Mike Dean has screwed us twice in that game. Yeah, we go again against Man City on Sunday. I mean, oh. I've seen the lineup, Lissels and Clark, centre back partnership against Manchester City at home. What is Eddie Howe doing? I know Shaw had a bad game against Liverpool, but Button Key and Clark back against Manchester City. This is going to be a recipe for disaster, in my opinion. Now it is history making moment. The first time since James has fought about the sports direct signs. We've got the manager, we've got the owner, the players have got to go next. And then we can start the rebuild, but until then, we'll see more of this important The players are not good enough, hence why we are 19th in the table. Defensively, this is the worst defence I've seen in my lifetime, easily. Murphy, LaSalle, Park, which is the worst back four I've ever, ever seen from this club. Fair play to the fans of this today, yeah. The rebuild process will begin, but those players have to go. Those players are a joke. Disgrace. God, I love this football club. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. All that was within four months. It's just like a dream, isn't it? It doesn't feel real. All that is honestly real. It's incredible. I love this football club. I love making these videos. Thank you guys so much. Have a great Christmas. Let me know what you guys think about it. Should I do an R at the end of the season where the story continues? Thank you guys for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.